Boy, what a hard, hard oh, situation for that family and for that little girl. Well, uh, we had a break from the rain this morning and mm -hmm. it cleared out, looked kind of nice, but we're ready for some more. <laughs> we are ready for some more. The unsettled pattern really not leaving us anytime soon, at least not for the next several days in the Good. extended forecast. We will get a break tonight and into part of tomorrow. Some areas, though, are thinking about snow <laughs> instead of rain. Let me take you on a little tour around Idaho. Snow making already in the works in Sun Valley this year on Dollar Mountain. We already have some of that natural stuff, though, up in the sawtooth. I've been waiting for this picture, oh, for months. I love seeing those snow-capped sawtooths. And, of course, Brundage, both Brundage and Tamarack, looking nice. They're actually getting some more wet weather right now. Seeing that snowfall on the ground is pretty nice when you're starting to think about the potential for ski season. So far, since midnight, light rain here in the valley. We've seen a little bit more up in some of the mountains and across parts of eastern Idaho. But so far, the rainfall has been fairly light. Going to continue that way when we get more tomorrow as well. But taking a look again, it puts up well above that normal for October. So doing good this month as far as rainfall is concerned. And we'll take more of it, especially if it means mountain snowfall. Temperatures right now hovering in the upper 50s in Boise and Mountain Home. 60 degrees in Caldwell, Ontario at 56. Upper 40s for McCall. Stanley jumping into the low 40s as well. Sun Valley at 48 degrees right now. So starting to cool off. We are looking at a potentially wet Halloween weekend thanks to this storm system here, at least in the Pacific Northwest. Parts of Portland, Seattle going to see a lot of rainfall. As for us, we're watching for some drying air coming in for Saturday. Watching for that cloud cover right now. Still seeing a couple of these showers holding together in parts of Southwest Idaho and down along the Owyhees as well. But the majority of that rainfall has shifted out of the region at least for tonight before we start to see a little more tomorrow. Here we go on the future cast dry tonight later on. If you're going out, don't need that rain jacket tomorrow. Might want to bring the umbrella with you to work because by the time we hit, oh, I'd say just a little bit after the lunch hour, starting to see some more of these showers dipping into the valley. They will be light, more snow potential up in some of the high country. Some of that rain could last into the evening. We'll kind of be on the brink of things, so I would just count on scattered showers. They will be light again tomorrow afternoon and into the evening. Then for Saturday, things look pretty nice into the morning hours. Few clouds hanging around. We'll call it a mix of sunshine and clouds for Halloween, but we will get a nice break as you head into Sunday, watching for more of that rainfall on the way. But again, the good news is this won't be a major rainmaker. We could see just very light accumulations here in the valley. McCall could see close to an inch, but if you are looking toward Halloween and maybe that trick-or-treating with some of the kids tomorrow night. It's going to be a nice day. A warm front moving through, going to push temperatures up into the 60s, lows in the upper 40s on Saturday night. And again, we'll see a break in that cloud cover meeting. It's going to be a nice night for some trick or treating. We'll call it partly cloudy for most areas in the valleys tomorrow. Few showers possible. The mountains more likely to see some of that rainfall. Notice these overnight temperatures starting to get colder. We could see about an inch or two of snow above 6,000 feet in the mountains. Our temperatures tomorrow going to hover in the 50s, turning cloudy later in the afternoon with the potential for a few showers, high in Boise of 57 degrees, looking into that seven day forecast. 67 on Saturday, so we warm it up pretty nicely and then cool it back down into the 40s by early next week. And that could mean some real shot or a real shot at some mountain snowpack. So starting to look at some cooler weather, especially in the mountains. And did I see 30s for lows? You did. Next we week? haven't had that first oh official goodness. freeze, but we oh. may get it this week, especially when you saw 30 degrees there yeah. before the overnight lows. <laughs> That's, That's a bit chilly. Great. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, Denny.